I'm in Portola Valley, California today, on my way to the Littlefield Collection, the largest collection of tanks ever privately owned in the world. This collection meant a lot. He was very, very passionate about it. My father had an amazing team of people who helped him do the restorations. And then when he passed away, my brothers and I kind of became in charge. He sought out different vehicles for a reason, I feel like. It's kind of like his legacy in one way. It's definitely recognized as one of the, the nicest collections of its type in the world. Jock got to the point where he was uh, actually importing into the United States about one tank a week, every week, for several years. The collection was getting quite large. He found uh, this particular tank and uh, was able to uh, bring it into the U.S. and it's the only one that we're aware of is in the Western Hemisphere. The tank was an achievement by Australia for what they managed to do with what they had it really is very significant. Sentinel is a bit of an enigma. There's enough information out there that you think you know a little bit, but outside of some photographs that are very famously found on the internet, there isn't very much. This particular tank actually is going to be uh, of interest to a lot of people because it's unusual, it's, uh, it's rare, and it's got a wonderful opportunity to go to another location where it would otherwise not be seen. So this tank is going to have a very interesting next part of its journey in its new home.